Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to payroll management system under the domain data mining. In this process, we are going to see how the administrator will maintain the employee details and generate the pay slip in using this system. In existing payroll system, the services provided by it are payroll checks and reports, tax reporting. The administrator has to update the required information for generating payslip and he has to maintain the employee details and timesheets of the employees. In this system, the administrator will register the employee and issue a specific ID and password to the employee. Futures of systems are maintaining employee information records including timesheet management and other features like generating salary report and leave report. The system itself would update whatever we required. The employee duty is to get login into the system and use the system for leaves, payslip request, edit profile, etc. In manual system, the possibility for error occurrence is high while updating the data. Now we are going to see the process flow. First, we split the process into three phases. The first one is administrator phase and the second one is department head phase and the third one is employee phase. In administrator phase, the administrator will log on to the system and register the new employees in order to generate the ID and password for all new employees. Then he can generate the pay slip for all the employees in an organization every month. Also, he can view the details of the employee in the organization whenever he required. By using the system, the administrator will approve the leave request by the department head. Also, he can sanction the request to view the pay slip by department head by using the system. After finishing the work, he can log out of the system. In department head phase, the department head can view and edit the profile of her. Also, he can request the administrator to view the pay slip. Or the department head can request leave to the administrator and approve the leave submitted by the employees. Also, he can sanction the employees to view the pay slip. After completing his work, he can log out the system. In employee phase, the employee can log on to the system and view the profile or edit that profile. Also, the employee can request the department head to sanction for viewing the pay slip. The employees can request leave by using the system to department head. Also, he can check the status of leaves and pay slip whether it is approved by the department head or not by our system. After verifying, he can log out the system. Now we are going to see the demo of the whole process. Before starting the process, first we need to import the SQL file which is kept under the data folder database in our VAM server. First we are going to import the SQL file. By clicking the browse button, we can browse the file where we kept. Here I am selecting the file payroll.sql for our process then clicking go button to import the SQL file. Once we get the message import has been successfully finished now we can start our process. To start the process first run payroll system.jsp. First the administrator will log in by using the username as ad admin and password as admin123. Then he click the login button to login. The username and password is validated and redirected to the navigation page. Then the admin is going to register the new employees. First he has to specify the ID for the new employee. Here I am giving the ID as 101 and name as John. Father name has to specify the date of birth. Then he has to specify the department and he has to designation the employee, then date of join and he has to specify the mobile number 
and city after that he has to specify the basic salary of that employee then you will click the register button to register that employee then he is going to register the new employee same as before we are going to specify the designation then it has to give the mobile number <coughs> city and salary of that employee then you can go to the home page to see any request for leaves if there is a request that request will be displayed in the place otherwise it will display as no request then we are going to view the employee details which has registered we are viewing the employee details which is registered then we are going to the home page to see the pay slip for sanctioning there are no more request for pay slip so it will display as no request then we are going to generate the pay slip for the employees for the month of shine after clicking the generate button the pay slip will be generated and the details will be displayed in the below boxes then he has to generate going to generate the pay slip for another employees click the generate button to generate then he log out from this page then we are going to see the department head face the department head can log in by using the username and password provided by the administrator has to enter the password as 123456 he will be get into login and request leave to the administrator by entering his id name date of application month type of leave he has to select from the drop down list number of days one and he will apply the button for applying then he will see the status of his leave still it is not sanctioned by the administrator so it is sending the status pending then he is going to view the personal details of that employee first we have to specify the id and we can view our details if we want to edit the details we can edit and update for example here i am changing the date of birth and updating then has going to view the pay slip of his for that he has to enter his id and name you click the login button to view permission rec restricted that means the administrator still not sanctioned his application then he is going to sanction the pay slip for the employees there are no more request for pay slip so it is displaying as no request then he is going to log out and we are going to see the employee face first the employee get the login username and password as he will request for leave first he will enter the id name and date of application month type of leave number of days he will apply the leave and view the status of the leave also he can view the personal details of the employee if you want to edit you can edit and update otherwise we have to going to request the pay slip for view permission restricted that means the department head still not sanction the request then he will log out thanks for watching us